Hi Air Signs and welcome to your Soulmate Connection reading. Also, welcome to my channel if you are new. This is the Dream Medium. So, Air Signs. Um, this is actually a new series that I plan on introducing to my channel. So, you know, for my subscribers, my viewers, my supporters, I would really appreciate you guys give me, giving me feedback about how you felt about this reading. So, um, after you're done watching this, if you guys could just let me know if you would like to see more of these, you know, types of readings, these soul soulmate connection readings. Um, this reading is, is you know, we're just going to be talking about how your soulmate is feeling. What, you know, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about this connection? Um, what is their next move? Like, what are they up to? Um, so really, I would advise that, you know, don't cross watch this video because I'm already telling you how they're feeling and what their next move is. I don't want you guys to get confused. So I would not, if I were you, because I know that people like to cross watch, um, I wouldn't do it for this type of reading, these soulmate connection readings that I do on my channel. Um, what else? So this reading is going to be by your element, okay? I'll be doing earth signs, air signs, fire signs, uh, water signs, um, all the elements, all right? So make sure that you know your element. Um, this is for your sun and your Venus, all right? Because I know that you guys are going to start asking me, Sun and Venus air signs. So this is for my Geminis, my Aquarius people, and Libras. So we're just going to get started. Air signs, soulmate connection. Air signs, soulmate connection. Air sign soulmate connection. How does their soulmate feel? How does air sign soulmate feel? How do they feel about my air signs? What is their soulmate up to? What is their soulmate up to? Alrighty. Queen of Wands. Strength card. Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Three of Cups. Ten of Swords. Oh boy. I'm sensing a lot of regrets. Air signs. Um, there's someone who is reflecting. Your soulmate is reflecting very heavily about their actions. The way they treated you. They're very much reflecting on this connection. I'm sensing a lot of regret and a lot of guilt, but let's just get started in your reading. So starting here with the Queen of Wands, really intuitively what I heard was this is a person or this is a person who knows that they messed up. They know that things ended on bad terms um, they know that your perception of them isn't the best, isn't the nicest either. Um, to simply put it, the Queen of Wands is saying that this person is very much, your soulmate is very much aware of their wrongdoings. Um, so much to the point where some of your soulmates' ear signs, they are very cautious of, of coming forward to you 
because they don't know how you're going to respond. But what's interesting and almost beautiful about this person is that despite the conflicts in this connection, they're still willing to be with you. Next you have the strength card. Really what I'm seeing here with the strength card is that they know that you're trying to move on from them. And that's what's really bothering them because they want to fix things with you. Um, some of them know that they lost their chance with you and that's what's hurting their ego and their pride, knowing that they they might be replaced or knowing that you are, you know, you might be casually dating other people, trying to get to know other people. But they are unhappy knowing that you're trying to move on from this connection. And I'm hearing that a lot of you air signs, you're doing the right thing. You have every every right to try to move on from this person, especially if they have caused you trouble. Next, you have the Knight of Cups. So really what I'm seeing with this Knight of Cups is that they do want to come forward, but they're not confident. And I'm still seeing that this person, it's like they're on this soulmate journey, but I feel like you're, you're more ahead of them. So they still have some maturing to do. They still have some wisdom to gain throughout their life. Um, you know, knights, a knight energy like this knight of cups, they can be quite immature. And that's just what I'm sensing with this person because they want to come forward, but they don't want to come forward to you and, you know, open up and be vulnerable. They don't want to come forward to you and say, hey, I made a mistake. It's like they know that they made a mistake, but it's that pride and ego that makes them uncomfortable to actually speak that to you, to actually tell you that they made a mistake. So that's why when they come forward, which they will, when they come forward, um, you're going to see them at the, as this knight. You know, you're going to see that you're not going to take them seriously. You're going to feel like, you know, they're coming back to trick you or they're coming back to, um, you know, waste your time and deceive you. Their intentions are well, but this person needs to understand that people make mistakes and there's nothing wrong with being vulnerable and expressing and saying, yes, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this and I shouldn't have done that. So I see that when they do come forward, and a lot of them are already doing this, it's a general reading, so just take what applies, leave what doesn't. But for some of you, they have already tried to contact you. For my other half of you, they will be very soon. And you're not going to take them seriously because they will try to get your attention in a very childish, you know, immature way, like without really vocalizing that they're sorry, without really giving you an apology, but they're going to want to start talking to you again, sort of like they want you to just take them back and act like they never did any wrong. And for a lot of my air signs, you're not going to let that fly. You want them to take accountability for what they did. It's sort of like they either take responsibility and be mature and apologize or they shouldn't come around you at all. That's just what I'm seeing that from for a lot of you air signs, that's what that's how you view this person. They either apologize and take accountability or they shouldn't contact you at all. A lot of you guys are really putting your foot down about this person. Um, I just keep on hearing something about their accountability, their accountability. Your soulmate seems like the type of person who gets away with a lot of things without apologizing. And you kind of encourage that behavior earlier in this connection by taking them back without communicating to them, you know, about their wrongs. Um... So for a really long time, they felt like they could get away with with 
with mistreating you and that you wouldn't confront them about it. But now that you're putting your foot down, this person needs to understand, hey, you either give a sincere apology or don't contact her or don't con contact him or don't don't contact, you know, my ear signs. Um, next, you have the Ace of Swords. So for those of you who where, you know, they have tried to contact you, like I said, you were not having it. You want them to take accountability. You want to see that they have changed because you feel like this person has wasted more than enough of your time. For those of you where this person hasn't come forward yet, like I said, very soon they will. And, you know, to simply put it, this Ace of Swords is just saying that they're going to have a hard time coming back to you. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be an easy journey where they're just going to come knocking at your door and sweep you off your feet. But the Ace of Swords represents something that is worth fighting for despite the hardships, the obstacles, despite how painful it might be. They see this connection as something worth fighting for. So you can reject them all you want, air signs, but this person with the Ace of Swords, they're coming in very passionately and wanting to get what they believe is, is theirs. Next, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm seeing that there's going to be a period, a period of time where it's going to be like this, uh, what's the word? Um, it's like you know that they're back in your life, but there's going to be a period of stillness where you won't be talking to them they won't be talking to you but you know what they want they're going to make it very clear that they want to try this again but the queen of pentacles is telling me that you're going to have to kind of step back a little bit and observe if they are truly worth your time if they are truly worth this pentacle this offer this serious offer this serious commitment that you want to give to them. So for some of you, you might just try to be friends again, um, acquaintances, but like I said, it's not going to be one of those things where you're just gonna say, yes, you know, I'll take you back. <laughs> That's just not what I'm seeing. Um, next you have the Six of Wands. I actually wanna clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Four of Pentacles came out. That's interesting. Hmm. I see that this person is... Okay, so really what I'm seeing here is for a lot of you, you know, for a lot of you, your soulmate is going to have some competition, air signs. Maybe you've been dating around. Maybe you've been trying to get to know other people that's just what i'm seeing and they're gonna have to work a million times harder now because they know that someone else have your attention and they're gonna do everything in their power to get you to pay attention to them and not the other person i'm seeing that your soulmate is very fussy fussy as in <laughs> it's like they have to get their way and when they don't it's like war they might just be very competitive but the six of wands is telling me that they're really 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 gonna have to work hard because there's gonna be a lot of obstacles preventing them from being with you and it could just be that there's someone else that's on your mind or there's other potential love interests who you have you know been getting to know it's like this person is almost going to be pleading for you to give them attention like pick me pick me pick me that's just what i'm hearing <laughs> next you have the three of cups so the three of cups this is quite a popular card, so you probably know what I'm going to say already. The Three of Cups is a third-party situation. Yes, it could be a celebration, but seeing the surrounding cards, it's definitely a third-party situation. 
the only thing that I'll say for this air signs is to make up your minds and I know that's very hard for you guys because air signs are known to be quite indecisive and they're constantly in their heads and that just makes it a million times harder for them to make a decision and stick to it you don't want to form this third party situation if you have a new love interest or a potential new love interest and you're still thinking about someone from your past or some of or someone from your past like your soulmate is coming back make up your mind make up your mind um you know especially because there's going to be like this waiting period where the two of you are going to be involved with each other but like i said the coming together isn't going to be instant you might tell them hey let's be friends or okay you know let's talk once in a while let me see how i feel about this situation and maybe throughout that waiting period you're going to want to give this new person a try um, but just try your hardest to pick someone sooner or later because you really don't want a third party situation. Your soulmate that you're, you know, your soulmate is very, very, like I said, fussy. So you don't want them to, you know, blow things out of proportion because they don't get their way with you. Next though, you have this 10 of wands. So let's see what's going on with this 10 of wands have the knight of pentacles let's see and you have another knight knight of swords yeah you're definitely going to be having two people definitely i mean and, and just understand that you know we have many types of soulmates but the main purpose of a soulmate is to better us okay so you can have a soulmate where you know in the past things were great but they were only meant to be in your life temporarily or you could have a soulmate who is meant to be your lifetime partner um, but just know that there are many forms of soulmates you can even have a karmic soulmate it really all depends so really what I'm seeing here is you're definitely going to be having two people, but one of them is the one because they're going to be offering you this pentacle, you know, and every time in a love reading, when I see that a pentacle is being offered, um, it's, it's taken as a serious commitment that is being offered. But then you have this other knight here who, you know, I'm really getting that they're more self-indulgent. Like they, they come in and out to get what they want from people like it's all about what they want and what what they desire if that makes sense now the serious commitment though the partner who's going to be giving you a serious commitment it's going to be very slow it's not going to be fast they're not going to you know randomly just give you that serious commitment or serious offer it's going to be slow because they want to get to know you first all right and once you make up your mind the partner who you don't choose is going to end up feeling this way, feeling betrayed. The Ten of Swords is the ultimate betrayal. I mean, these are ten swords to his back. Ten swords. He's done. He's not getting up. All right. So I feel like that's really the case for you. It's all up to you. Okay. But just remember that there are many forms of soulmates. Not every soulmate is a lifetime partner, but they all soulmates do, um, they do have a purpose in our lives. So air signs, thank you guys so, 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 so much <laughs> for watching my video. Don't forget to comment and give me feedback about how you feel, how you feel about this new series. Um, like, comment, and describe, and subscribe, describe, why did I say that? like comment and subscribe um so yeah and also if you're interested in a private reading please do visit my website the link is in the just in the description box you can visit my website i offer a variety of readings of all prices my readings are like 30 dollars and up so if you're interested go ahead and take a look at my website thank you guys so much and you have a great day